Greetings, friends, and today the Brony fandom showcases its very own Morgan Freepwn, joined by Kichi FIM, Aeon of Dreams, for no good reason, Brony Book, Dulcet Tones, DWK, Toon Critic, Media Mongers, Sapphire Heart Song, Twisted Fate. Please follow the link to Ilion's channel and don't forget to like and support this video if you wish to see more like it with all your favorite Brony personalities. Also, don't forget to pester Josh Scorcher if you would like him to join. I know I would. You, you can't you can't just in, uh, interrupt Queen. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. No one interrupts each other and no one rehearses it. That's the funny part. Would be interesting. <laughs> Can you carry a tune, Ilya? When I'm not suffering from a cold, which I'm trying to do now. I'm still a bit now, of a head cold. Now, now, take note, everyone. This is him on a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head's all stuffed up. Well, oh. I've been known to sing a tune or two. There's a few on my SoundCloud and on my YouTube page. I want you to sing a song that's usually sung in falsetto. But... <laughs> God, yes. God, yes. Did, did you not hear my This Day aria? Well, I, I don't know if that's, like, I don't know. I think that's just in a higher key. I wouldn't say that that's, like, falsetto. <laughs> it's a woman's song. Give him some Freddie Mercury or something. Yeah, oh, sick. Lord. Did you sing some like, Queen? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm trying to think, because I do listen to songs that are sung mostly in falsetto, but I'm trying to think of... Sing, sing, Lord, again, like, yeah, the chorus. I yeah, just the chorus killed too. the man. <laughs> I don't know much <laughs> of the Bohemian Rhapsody, just a bit of it. Wait, to pick one <laughs> that I might know. Don't pick anything in the last 40 years. Yeah, have you heard of this band called Neutral Milk Hotel? It is the greatest band Donald. since Thine Skywatcher. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you slip into that voice, Aeon, I just think back to Brony Con and all the mistakes that were made. All the mistakes, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> none of them were recorded. Are you going to Brony Con, Elia? I don't know. I've, I've missed the last few, and I've missed my friends who flew over from England. So Kichi, well, would you have the heart to Candy Mountain? <laughs> I guy. would. I know you I would. would. I totally would. <laughs> <laughs> Without question. I would feel bad. I would act like I didn't know you. <laughs> Are we going to nope. Candy Mountain, Charlie? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, Charlie. Come to Candy Mountain. That sounds incredibly right sinister. Now. That sounds incredibly <laughs> evil. It does. Follow me. I will show you. You need to do wonders. a redub of Candy Mountain. Yeah, we need to do that. We got that. All we have to do is take the video and just you know, revoice it. <laughs> I don't, I no, no thank you. I don't want Can to go Can you imagine camp. that voice coming out of the two unicorns? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, now I want them to say, darn it, they took my kidney. <laughs> say what? Darn it, they took my kidney. <laughs> Well, that's not my kidney. line. I'm, 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 I'm luring you to Candy Mountain, so it's not my line. I, I know. Good, okay, hold on. Go goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> Welcome back, Dulcet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. Excuse me, uh, Ronnie. We, we well, got we got Ilya in here. The voice of God. He's talking about Jesus. Candy Mountain. By the way, we're recording. <laughs> is that is that the Burger King? I see. I think I see the Burger King. <laughs> I'm, I'm, fright Burger King. I'm frightened. Oh, yeah, that's Burger right. King. I got a big display Excuse in there. <laughs> hey, hey, Ilya, can you tell Bronny you're going to take him to Candy Mountain? <laughs> Come, Bronny. Come with me to Candy Mountain. Come. <laughs> Goodbye, Bronny. We're going to Candy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go the first time, and I sure <laughs> as heck still don't. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, you, only have, you still need at least one kidney. You've got one left. Come. Join <laughs> us. They didn't take my kidney last time. They, they, <laughs> I, they we took, took his blazer, but that means sure. you have two kidneys that you can spare. And Come on, here. Ronnie, what's the, what's the harm, man? Let's do it. Candy, you know? <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why haven't we thought of this? Ilya, she's what? an evil enchantress and she does evil dance. <laughs> oh my god, her guy. <laughs> she's You're an to... evil enchantress and she does evil dances. I don't remember much of it. 
been too long since I've seen. Yeah, it. Ilya, you should probably just charge people to say things because at this point you'd be rich by now. <laughs> you really would. This one is called. What I want you to all do is go out and have independent campaigns to get me more subscribers. I don't know why I don't have many. Uh, we I, don't either. I figure it's because I'm inept at social media. I know absolutely nothing about it. I have found out though that the way to get views is to do comic dubs and I never do comic dubs no. or just do reaction videos that is the most piss easy way to get a million people to watch you people would probably really like watching him react to stuff with just that voice can, <laughs> can, can you can you get him a bit roll with lightning bliss for he's one of the demons you summon I do. Oh. I'm trying to think like you I totally think should do that if Ilya is like, okay with that like yo I have voice. no idea what you are talking about that means Would you yes. be willing to play a demon? Oh, a demon. Yes, I like demons. Demons, gods, dragons, anything with the... Well, you get to use reverb. I like reverb. <laughs> <laughs> God, he sounds menacing. I get the feeling if I could use this character, it would be like, that's a succubus, don't go near it! It's not a succubus, <laughs> it's just a disguise. And then it's just like, he's disguised, but he doesn't know he's a succubus. It's like, I want to <laughs> shove my dick up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. Don't scare him away. <laughs> yes. I'm, He's not Will. He didn't challenge you. <laughs> oh my god, I still remember that. I don't hold you at any fault about that. I was kind of annoyed that he... He's, he's like, I don't know if your room would be professional. I was like, one, you challenged Peter to act like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't prepared for the result. I would have taunted him and said, do you think Keyframe's more of a badass than you? But I already know the answer to that. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm going to timestamp my own shit remark there, too. <laughs> I want you to in find that. In all seriousness, though, in a fight, Keyframe would kick the crap out of Will. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Shoot him down the river. What's that thing you keep saying to critic? Oh, uh, yeah, let's just apply that to Kichi. Kichi too strong, please nerf. <laughs> where is that from? I forget where, but he was saying it when we were playing Overwatch and we were getting our ass kicked by the enemy team. He's like, enemy team too strong, please nerf. Oh. <laughs> also for the fact that if Keyframe were to throw straight punch, you know, one that's just level with her chest, she would probably hit him square in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> One fell swoop and the giant fell. Accurate. Yeah. He is a Friend tall. Is quite tiny. Because he is tall and lanky and she is very short. And that, kids, yeah. was the historical reenactment of David and Goliath. Edited for comedy. <laughs> Don't you mean Danielle and Goliath? Oh, I like that mm. one. Let's make that happen. <laughs> it makes sense huh. in the end. Sounds like a porn adaptation of some sort. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Ilya, are you the man who voices true facts about animals? <laughs> I don't think so. What's All true right. facts about animals? It's a guy doing a Morgan Freeman impression, and the, he, uh, you know, just makes up random stuff about different animals. I like have it. been known to do a bit of Morgan Freeman from time to time. I don't do it very often, but occasionally I fall into it. Oh, there's a thing. I'll drag it. I Here apologize. we go. Dragging my thing. Ilya tries to figure out technology. Part okay, one. It's, it is that's half the life <clears throat> I leave trying to figure it out. Kids at work using Snapchat. So what the fuck is that? You take a picture of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you, God, that's nice. <laughs> you look like a dog now. <laughs> oh, <there's> that. <laughs> Um, my friends want to see me looking like a dog. It's just all the rage. Okay. All right, I'm thinking at the bottom it says true facts about the owl, but there's no text. Oh, I'm supposed to listen to this, and we'll see what this guy sounds like. Hold on. Pushing the button now. Come on. Say, say Peter, bit. if we're trying to get this guy more exposure, I've already put him on my channel once. If after I clean and edit this up, I could uh, hand this up to put it on yours. Okay, that works for me. All right, cool. I will, I'll even timestamp <laughs> it so all over. I will plug this man with all well, of my ability. That's good Morgan Freeman. Since Peter has more stick. subs than me, finally. <laughs> stick stick, stick yeah, with us. We'll, we'll get you places. I, know, I knew laziness would eventually carry me through. What do you think I'm here? I'm certainly not doing it for the stellar company. I want some exposure. Please go make me famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weird. whatever you say, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> make me an internet star that's what i want to be i want to be horse famous like my mentor and idol your, your senpai kim, kim possible the the great 
him. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen. I'm, I'm be, sensing some sarcasm. I want to be the next Dr. Wolf without a square head. I want to do lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Just scorcher with integrity. <laughs> you want to be the next A and Y, except less German. <laughs> yeah. That would be right. That's her under problem. A and Y, that was Kichi F I M. Make sure to send her an unlisted angry. <laughs> would unlisted you stop angry. Trying to bring video? me down to your level, Anthony. <laughs> Look, that's not unlisted much to angry bring. Video where he just stares at you like a pissed off owl <laughs> in the middle of a scary movie. <laughs> When he gets oh, done God. listening to this, he's just gonna send it, put it up on his channel, and put our names at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just staring awkwardly at the camera. If your name is here, this is for you. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're recording this? Yes, I said so. Yeah. At the Don't worry, okay. you're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Sure. Hey, Ilya, Coke or Pepsi? Coke, and not yeah. for the, not for the drink. But for the multi-billion dollar, multi-trillion dollar evil corporation, that's what I respect. Huge, world-dominating soft drink. It's like the nightmare moon of soft drinks. (laughs) (laughs) I am uh, God. Pepsi is like Celestia. (laughs) <laughs> that may be the most brony thing I've ever heard in my life. Wait, wait, what is Cadence? Fanta? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, no, no, no. Cadence is Fago. Yes. Fago. <laughs> Twilight is some sort of energy drink, I think. That's why she's the what, best. What? Five hour energy. It's just a shot. She's a shot. I can she imagine that flurry hard is like this very tiny little espresso drink in like a little teacup. I she can imagine before Alicorn, it. the Alicorn shit, she was a five hour energy. Now she's a six hour power. <laughs> she's a monster energy drink. Have you happened to see the uh, Gabriel Iglesias special where he talks about Cuban coffee or something like Cuban that? Cuban coffee? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, oh, that's... Yeah. It. Well, Tune, have you seen that? I have. I have not seen it. I know you have, Kichi. I wasn't asking you. Woo! He's sad, fire. You, Kichi. Well, you know what, Bronny? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw him out of the room or out of the call? Just out of the call. Oh, Watch Kiki, this kick. So mean. You can see me, but you can't silence the truth. <laughs> you speak lies. <laughs> I didn't even do that one. <laughs> you got that one. Have you learned your lesson, Bronny? No, I lined haven't. your lesson. I have lined my lesson. Lined it. He lined his lesson. <laughs> lined it. Certainly. Cockney Kiji. <laughs> Why yeah. certainly? Oh God, no, too don't do it. Please, sir, can I have some more? Please, sir, can I have some more? Oh, this call is gonna kill me. Probably. <laughs> Kichi, also called oh, Garnet. Huh? Kichi, also known as Garnet. Also known as Garnet. <laughs> Garnica. Garnet. So does this mean I'm one part of Kichi? Then who's Ruby? Oh wait, you're Sapphire. Eh, no. <laughs> 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 wow. Well, I mean, like, I mean, right like, Toon is red and cast. he can be hot tempered sometimes. So there you go. There's Garnet. <laughs> I'm Ruby. I could probably pull that off. Get you a Ew, I want to fuse with Brawny. Who would want to fuse with Brawny? Come on. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ow. See, Brawny, this is what happens when you distract us from listening to Ilya. <laughs> no, this is what happens any uh, any given day, regardless. But this day is special. Not really. Any mountain, Brawny? <laughs> I don't, I think this. don't you want to go to Candy Mountain? Yeah, Brawny! <laughs> yeah, Brawny! Candy Mountain! It's full of sweets and joy and joy in his Diabetic seizure. <laughs> <laughs> Does Candy Mountain have those watermelon sour patch kids? I can just imagine Savvy's eyes are going all over the place and foam is coming out of her mouth. <laughs> creamy, creamy frost. <laughs> and then Kichi died because she looks like a red shirt. Hey, hey, I am not a red shirt unless I'm wearing a badge. No, oh, you just have a red shirt. Hush, blue blue coat. Mm. I thought his coat was black. I am naked. That's nice. Blue fur. So are any of you guys going to BronyCon? 
Yep. Yes, yeah. 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 A lot of us are. Mm, you're from that area. I wonder what I should call this damn video. <laughs> I'm I'm not from that area, but I'm going. Like a lot of people are going uh, next year. A huge majority of people I know are going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try, but it's still no guarantee on my end. I'd like to get back to Everfree. I enjoyed that when I was there before. I'm I'm going to Everfree this year as well. I gotta save up like four hundred dollars for next year's convention. I got a friend in Seattle. She lets me stay with her, so I like going there. Nice. That's good. I'm going to BronyCon and BapsCon Same. next year. Elliot, what years have you been to Everfree Northwest? Oh, just one, just one, the first one uh, back in 2012. Was, yeah, that was the only one I didn't go to. Yeah, it was the Take a Hike Con severely overflowed the Holiday Inn, and so they rented another hotel up the hill, so you had to walk up and down the hill, back and forth, to, oh, to the various yeah, panels and things. It was still a lot I, of fun, though. I figured I was going to save money and got a room with the motel at the bottom of the hill, so I had to do that. I did, too. Several times a day. I did it having just come off walking on a cane, so by the end of it, it was just in excruciating pain. Well, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or Ilya. I was wa I was watching these great quotes from you know famous celebrities before they died, and they had this one for uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Where he said, "You know, no one knows what happens after we die. Catholics have their hopes." Could could you say that in one of your creepier voices? No one knows what happens after we die. Catholics have their hopes. There we go. <laughs> the, uh, my favorite thing that he ever said was an actor went up to him saying, what is my motivation? And he replied with, your salary. <laughs> hey, Twist. Twist of fate. I we found exactly. a voice that's deeper than yours. I know exactly what I want on my tombstone. I figured it out years ago. Pepperoni? Uh, what? It wouldn't be bad. I'd like, a, I'd, a, first of all, a picture of Rainbow Dash and then the words, now 20% cooler. <laughs> I know what's going to be on my tombstone. It's going to say, who's the world going to oh, revolve around now? Lost about every one of my good friends. And not a damn one of them had a big party afterwards. Are you oh. going to have a big party? Well, you're damn right. A lot of, after I die, I want everybody to dance around and celebrate. What's the, what's the... I mean, why does anyone who's ever died want everyone that follows along to just be sad about it? Not okay, here's the thing. I want to have sad violin music and other sad musics, and I will hire chefs to chop onions around the funeral procession. <laughs> <laughs> Doing I, mean, I just want can. somebody to dress up as death and just stand there. Oh, and tear gas will be put through the vents if no one is crying in five minutes. <laughs> Promoting the narrative. Yes, everyone cried at my funeral. <laughs> for all the just, right reasons, I'm sure. Without so you want to just hire anybody, just like some Joe Schmo that's never been a chef before. <laughs> hey, Bucky, I will hire you because I heard you know how to use swords, and you can just like chop it with a sword because that will look cool. Okay, if that's what you want. <laughs> Gentlemen, this feels sure. unnecessarily confrontational. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you're going to outlive me, but okay. As a gambling <laughs> man, I wouldn't bet on either one of you. Get into that. <laughs> might have a point. I am quite immortal. <laughs> and I do have proof if anyone questions me on it. Sure. And we all know what happens when we question Aeon on things. I want a Viking funeral. That's the kind of funeral I want. Once again, the only thing you should ever do when it comes to Aeon is always listen, no matter how ironically ironic oh, his ironic tactics are. I want to be cremated and then turned into a tree. Dude, you can actually do that. <laughs> you pick your favorite kind of tree and they put you in this cardboard casket thing that like biodegrades. So your ashes fertilize the little seeds and you become a, you become a tree. I'd like yeah. to be a tree. Just want to burn on the ocean. Just I want to be like taken up in an AC-130 and then just dropped on the ground somewhere. Just fly over the woods and then just like air drop up. Dead, while you're still alive, is it? That would be a cool suicide attempt. I do have to admit. <laughs> no way. As I'm falling, I'll command the AC-130 to loop around and then shoot me with the cannon. Aeon yeah. <laughs> can be cremated and then spread around to various Victoria's Secrets all over the country. This is Aeon this is a is red puppy like splatter that. that got sucked into the jet stream. And every winter, when you feel the anemia, you'll see a red screen be like, "I feel like a friend is missing," <laughs> and I taste iron. Oh. oh, it's okay. I've always wanted to be inside all of you. Oh, God. All right, Aeon. That's Thank you, enough. Aeon. <laughs> that's what we could call the podcast. I want to be inside all of you. Yes. yes. Aeon 2016. 
No, pay on twenty every year. You got to give everybody at your funeral a taser, and the last man standing gets all your stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Funeral games man? is a good idea. I are, like are, funeral are, games. Are we talking close quarters taser or taser gun? A close, close quarters quarter. taser. No, you know what? Everybody at my funeral is going to get knuckle dusters. The Ooh. ones that the the tasers. You seem like very interested. Like you really wish to own a pair of this for nefarious reasons. <laughs> Oh my! I, like I want to, I want to have a setting on those things where it doesn't stun the person; it just makes them lose control of their bowels. If I think they're being a dick. <laughs> so you basically um, want the six stick from Kickass too? Killing them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, on that kills people. No, it doesn't. <laughs> the pants no, it doesn't. are just brown. <laughs> it's fine as long as they wear their brown pants. <laughs> yeah, even then, that person's gonna be like, if they, that, they, right? they can't chase you. Yeah, I understand the two, but they can't chase you without looking really fucking hilarious when they run. <laughs> and almost immediately, Josh took on okay. the video. Who should read this? Should we have... I got it. It's nothing special. <laughs> I, purchased it after I think I could change that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't interrupt Knock your... Knock yourself out. Oh, this is funny. Hey, hey, I let you, it... you, you, you socially court with freaking the brony notion. I stayed my nose the fuck out of that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's pretty much just like, oh, I guess I overlooked things. Thanks for pointing when it out. I'll be more careful. <laughs> What can you do with that? <laughs> you know, I, oh <laughs> a place Lord. where you could discuss that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. There's oh, this podcast, Dulcet Sometimes <laughs> Comes Up. Anthony, what are you doing? Love to joke. have you join. <laughs> he's, he's being nefarious. Oh, yeah, no, I'm fucking with Josh Scorcher. Then they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I take a snapshot like... of this call and tell him to come mingle. I think that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out with us. We're cool. We won't bite <laughs> much. Much. Well, Aeon might bite. Aeon might bite. Yeah. Um, but I he grabbed really loves my knuckle buster stun gun and shoved it into my mouth, running headfirst at my foes, electrocuting them with my teeth. By the way, if he unfriends <laughs> me, I'm gonna blame Brawny's picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only one that it could possibly be. Well, no, Aeons, but uh, even then. I could go, if you really want me to do something stupid, I can switch it to the uncensored version of the picture. No, no, no. Oh, can you not? <laughs> just Photoshop right here. I'll change it. No, no, it's already sent. It's already been put up there. It's already done. It's already The done. deed is done. The die is cast. Julius Caesar is just... pleased. You could have just Photoshopped it so it wasn't this. Vlad, you referenced Julius Caesar. I fucking love you. I love you too, Aeon. We established this at BronyCon. I know, but you just referenced Caesar. That's another reason, bro. I'm waiting. Too. I'm waiting for him to have a retard moment going, okay, put me in. Oh. <laughs> and if he says I'm not recording, I already am recording, Josh. Too bad. <laughs> I can't undo it. Too bad. Too bad. You know what? No, my response would be, well, I promise you this will not be on my channel. He <laughs> <laughs> bumps you over to Aeon's channel. Oh, baby. Oh, I would stay up all night editing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could see Toon be like, I had no idea, Josh. <laughs> Josh, please keep coming back to my podcast. <laughs> Don't unfriend me, Josh. I still want to be in the projects, Josh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit much, but sure. Yeah, I know. I went a little too far with Just that one. Just a little bit. That's fine. Uh. Dude, if you want a really funny Amazon review, look up sugar-free gummy worms. No, gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, sugar-free gummy bears. Worms. Okay, okay. Let me pull this up because you have to read this to believe it's an actual review. Hey, Anthony, I'm putting up bait in Josh's Patreon chat. Yes, sir. Pull out. Like, oh get my, thrown out. Like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to a guy with a godlike voice. Look okay. at this channel. He's cool. Okay, what is your channel, read? sir, if I may ask? Morgan Freeman. Your eyes real as fuck. <laughs> there it is. Okay, cl- go into going to that out. Amazon link. Check the first like full review. It says, just don't unless it's a gift for someone you hate. That is the review. Oh, okay, the Amazon review. Here we go. The very first one. It's a just don't unless it's a gift for someone you hate. Top critical review? Yeah, it's it has one star. Oh man, 
Words cannot express what happened to me after eating these. The gummy bear cleans. If you are someone that can tolerate the sugar substitute, enjoy. If you are like the dozens of people that tried my order, run. First of all, for taste, I would rate these a five. So good. Soft, true to taste, fruit flavors like the sugary vibe variety. I was a happy camper. But, or should I say, but, not long. After eating 20 of these, hell broke loose. I had a gastrointestinal experience like nothing I've ever imagined. Cramps, sweating, bloating, beyond my worst nightmare. I've had food poisoning some from bad shellfish, and that was almost like a skip in the park compared to what was going on inside me. That's all that's in my... Oh, there's a read more. Yeah, this is... That's when it starts getting, uh... Oh, it gets better. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> flatulence. Heavens to Murgatroyd. The sounds like trumpets calling the demons back to hell. The stench like 1,000 rotted corpses vomited. I couldn't stay in one room for fear of succumbing to my... Succumbing to my own odors. But wait... There's more. What came out of me felt like someone tried to funnel Niagara Falls through a coffee straw. I swear, my sphincters were screaming. It felt like my delicate starfish was a gaping maw projectile, vomiting a torrential flood of toxic waste. One hundred percent liquid. Flammable liquid. Napalm. It was actually a bit humorous. For a nanosecond, as it was just beyond anything I could imagine. And it went on for hours. I felt violated when it was over, which I think might have been sometime in the early morning of the next day. There was stuff coming out of me that I ate at my wedding in 2005. Five pounds of these innocent-looking, delicious-tasting hell bears. So I told a friend about what happened to me, thinking it had to be some type of sensitivity I had to the sugar substitute. And in spite of my warnings and graphic descriptions, she decided to take her chances and take them off my hands. Silly woman. All of the same for her. And a phone call from her while on the toilet, because you kind of end up living in the bathroom for a spell, telling me she really wished she would have listened. I think she was crying. Her sister was skeptical and suspected that we were exaggerating. She took them to work. Since there was still 99% of a five-pound bag left, she works for a construction company where there are builders, roofers, house painters, landscapers, etc. Lots of people who generally have limited access to toilets on a given day. I can't imagine where all those poor men and women pooped that day. I keep envisioning men on roofs crossing their legs and trying to decide if they can make it down the ladder or if they should just jump. If you order these, best of luck to you. And please don't post a video review during the aftershocks. P.S. When I ordered these, the warnings and disclaimers and legalese were not posted. I'm not a moron. Also, not sure why so many people assume I'm a man. I'm a woman. We poop, too. Of course, our poop sparkles and smells like a walk in the meadow of wildflowers. Thanks for all these great comments. I've been enjoying reading them. And I'm so glad that the horror show I experienced from snacking on these has at least made some people smile. There's, oh, there's a thousand, no, 1,457 comments on that review. I <laughs> <clears throat> If you wanted that another good great. one, I feel like getting him to read off the blowtorch, that one, but I still haven't done anything with the ones that I had freaking, uh, what's her name, read off. It's still on oh, my to do list. I know. Uh, <laughs> this travesty occurred in my state. I'm scared. <laughs> wait, wait, that was in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Well, shit. Also, we need to run. Well, I mean, oh, Josh yeah. actually responded, my roomie is asleep. Boo! Uh, boo, Mister Scorcher! Boo, boo! He wanted an, that, or he wanted an out. It's not above him. He wanted, he wanted an out. Oh, uh, you, you know what's funny? Him. Why did he wait so damn long? He could have got away with silence. <laughs> what's going on? Leave that in the video and just like point that out to him. He's such a pansy. <laughs> Kichi, twenty sixteen. Yep, that's gonna get time stamped. Oh, baby. <laughs> You know, if if you can't just say no, oh god, at least don't say yes. 
There you go, Josh. You don't have to feel like I won. It's on my friend Peter's channel. I totally won. Yes. <laughs> I would totally, I would totally call that a full victory, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Just say like, he's the devil, and yeah. he won't deny it either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keiji, you should probably ask him for a rain check. Hmm? Pete would be like, hey, maybe, maybe we could do it another time then. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Strike while the iron's hot. You got. We could corner him. Come on, he's a beta male, Kichi. He'll do it. I mean, you know he won't, right? I don't know, man. He's pretty wimpy. <laughs> and you're a girl. He can't have his masculinity taken away by a girl. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah. Sure, why not? Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, if Fallen could get him, you're not saying that Fallen's craftier than you, are you? Yeah, yeah that'll right. do it. You know, I know you're baiting well. me, but you're right. <laughs> I know you're baiting me. Uh, as it See, came I out, know you're playing me, but you're right. But you're right. <laughs> She's not I, just wrong, want you to, I just want you to know that I know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> okay. See, as Dulcet, know, you should have came back. Doing, but you know what? Anyway. I, on second thought, Dulcet, this was the perfect time to come back. <laughs> Welcome back, Dulcet. Uh, Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting DWK to come in here and heal, heal Ilya. Uh, I think when I when I had a run-in with dear Mr. Scorcher at BronyCon, like, it was when I was hanging around Toon, and when I stood there for, like, maybe a minute listening to Josh talk, and I kind of looked, I looked around for Toon because I lost him for a second. I'm like, where's Toon? Well, I don't see the comment where Josh is just like, oh, my roommate's asleep. No, that's in PM. Do you uh, need to copy well, what it? am I supposed to be responding to? And be like, hey, you should come hang out with us. I could use a nice, strapping, strong marine to protect me from all these nasty men. <laughs> you overestimate my abilities. I'm, I'm just this, I'm a solo, lone girl in here. I and just imagine just a... me like, Kichi, you are too strong. You do not need a marine. Yeah. Oh, Kichi, you don't need no man. Ilya, this is DWK. DWK, this is Ilya. Hello, DWK. You look like Daria, only Aria. <laughs> Did you break him? I think, he, I think he's completely speechless. <laughs> Did you break him? Hey, I've been speaking. Can you not hear me? You did. Check Something. DWK. Oh, where's it go? We can hear you. Oh, okay. I think DWK might be out. Yeah. Ah, uh, might be. Oh, well. <laughs> nope, there he goes. <laughs> Gigi, you taste them off. How did uh, I do that? <laughs> you're a little too strong for him. <laughs> Not too strong. I am too strong, like a rat in bull. <laughs> you know what? No, no, Kichi, this is what you're going to do. You should be like, Josh, Josh, he's sitting there and he's bending all these bronies to his will. If you get in there, you could stop him right now. Right now, Josh. <laughs> you could get in there and you could stop him. <laughs> you could push the barbarians back, Josh. <laughs> Drive the I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell, sinner. Hello, Josh. You thought you were coming to free the Holy Land. Welcome to hell, my friend. Oh, Jesus. We've missed you. <laughs> I thought I was just going to pop in here for like a quick like couple minutes. There's, there's no, no I almost thing. didn't restart this call. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you did. I know. Oh. Can you guys hear me now? Now we can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? As I was trying to say, Ilya Leonov, it is good to meet you. Um, you as well. I'm a fan of your work. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Especially your voice, dude. <laughs> 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 We're trying to get him as much work and exposure as possible. That night. If you if you ever need someone to play your dad, DWK, <laughs> you should get this guy. Oh my god. Anyway, what's been up with you guys? You can have him scream at you, get off a of Reddit and go get a job. It's Tumblr, Dad! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a good insult, DWK, because he goes to 4chan. Oh no. Well, Keyframe goes to 4chan. 4chan. <laughs> Don't go there, it's a let, bad place. DWK, let me introduce you around the room. You already know Kichi, that's Y2K Toon Critic. This is Sapphire Heart Song. She beat the crap out of me once. That's Twist, he's dating a Puerto Rican. <laughs> you, you you already know Morgan Freepons. Peter, he, he's a complete sexual yeah. deviant. Vlad, um, he's nuts. Uh, Brawny. I would expect nothing less. Brawny is the, the grandfather of the, <laughs> the Brawny fandom, and that's not an age thing. <laughs> And dulcet tones. He just picked a fight with Josh Scorcher, so that's the whole crew. Oh, all right. How's it going, guys? Yep. 
FGR, that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Yeah, I try, Vlad. (laughs) That raised my spirits a little bit. Thanks. I was trying to get some work done, but uh, Keechi dragged me in here, so... Well, that's how we got you in here in the first place. You were hardly kicking and screaming, sir. Yes. (laughs) Did did, did Keechi show you a little boob or something? That's my fetish, so, you know. <laughs> Both of you hush. <laughs> it is it is my job to lure unsuspecting males into Anthony's chat. Yep. <laughs> so you're more of a Well, go get us Josh, Kichi. DWK wants well, to talk to Josh Scorcher. Well, well, you know, I'm working on it, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, did I tell you? I got Anthony C to agree to play a golf game on yeah. Steam. Oh, what? yeah, you need to really? tell the story. Uh, let me think. I think I was trying to get him to to buy and play Overwatch. Then he was oh. like, "Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm cheating on it." TF2. I was like, "Well, there's a much cheaper game called Golf with Your Friends. You can play that." <laughs> and he was like, "All right." And then we exchanged Steam I- um, IDs. Is, he was like, "But first, I have to upload this video." Does Anthony C still like do pony stuff? A little bit. Sparingly. Different. Yeah. He does it the same click he always did, which is like once in a blue moon. That. uh Still go back and watch that um, Canterlot wedding video every once in a while. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a good one. I still have never seen that. Oh, it's great, man. You got it, it is the definitive. I actually do have to ask uh, Morgan Free Pony, how how did you even become part of the Brony fandom? I'm, I'm genuinely curious on that story. And you're saying that because I'm an old guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no shame. Admits it straight out of the gate. Well, I have one set of young friends. Actually, I own a business, and everyone that works for me is young. And, of course, when when you run a graphics business, you hire artists, and artists are strange people. They're not like the rest of us. I would know. And so this artist was a furry, and she said, Oh, dear. You should come to a fur con. I said, Why? And she said, because you'll have such a good time. I thought, that sounds like a load of crap, but (laughs) didn't have anything to do the weekend. There was one happening about 100, three or 400 miles away. So we went, and I'm not a furry. (laughs) I didn't become a furry, but damned if that wasn't a fun freaking weekend. I got to tell you, there was a bunch of strange people. So I started hanging out with, uh, with the furries, and then when somebody said, oh, have you heard of bronies? I said, what's that? And she said, well, it's adult males who like My Little Pony. And I was taken aghast. I thought, my God, I'd seen that thing in the 80s. And I thought, oh, my God, what a horrid cartoon to be a fan of. That must be ironic. Certainly it's ironic. They don't really mean it. And then so I was talked into watching the episodes. And everyone knows when you do that, you're hooked and there's no way out. You're fucked. Yeah, so I am actually a brony. I'm not a furry, but by golly, I am a damn brony. So it was Hello. pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. I was going to say, what was your gateway episode? Well, this is interesting. I do frequent Second Life, and we have dances. And um, on one particular dance on the late Saturday night, they played Winter Wrap Up, the song. And I was just floored by the voices of these people, these children or whoever sing this song. Because I could tell it wasn't auto-tuned, and yet they were on pitch, and they were hard on pitch. It was, I was blown away by the sound of the song. So I went to see the cartoon that was associated with it, but that one wasn't on. But the first two season, first two episodes of the first season were on. And it's like I told Scribbler on her video the other day. Once I saw them redeem the big bad villain rather than conquer him, I was hooked. That was it. Of course, I've been on a pine for Luna, but... That's another story. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I listened to that uh, podcast you did with Scribbler about Luna, so... Oh, well, yes, yeah. you know that. I know you got a nice big heart on for it. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Wash here and you would get along so mm. well. Mm. Not just Luna, but you. Nightmare yeah. Moon, too. I like that. Yeah, movie. he loves... I can, uh, I can relate, actually. Mm. I'm... Uh, are hot girls. Well, at least it wasn't like me having to lie on my dad saying, I'm watching porn! <laughs> <laughs> what? How, how I became a brony, I had to lie to my dad and say, I'm watching porn. 
Oh, God. That's about the yeah, same. Well. It's easier to come out of the closet with that than it is for a horse guy, dude. But I don't, uh, I don't hide from it. I mean, I tell everyone, and it's, uh, it's always met with, uh, you know, mouth agape and what the fuck are you talking about? Sort of look. even have a car tag that says Main Six, and everyone asks what the hell that means. So, yeah. One of my friends just showed me the first episode, and I was like. Okay, that's not that's not bad. I could actually enjoy that. It was way back in like December two thousand ten. It was almost like a drug, though. You you, you see the first two episodes, yeah. and then then you're waiting for the Luna fix. You're waiting for Luna fix, and then you know what, about ten episodes later, you get Luna eclipsed, and so it's like bam, it slams at home, and she's just as bitchy as no, Luna eclipsed. I don't, no, I don't like Luna that much. Well, then well fuck off. Can, Kill you with the obvious <laughs> You do not deserve to live. Dilly is going to lead a one man crusade on Brush. <laughs> I've got to say this you're the only person who likes Luna, where it is a notable thing. For everyone else, I just view it as the safest opinion. So tell me, what is your what is your horse of choice? Mine? Um, Celestian. Say, Dickie Pie, there's going to be extra pain. <laughs> what? Celestia and Sombra. Uh-huh. Celestia's pretty hot. See, I'm old, so I like the old women. I'm a rarity guy myself. Rarity's hot? Yeah, she fucking is. Rarity has the nicest butt. Rainbow Dash. Uh, Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, Yeah, that's the thing. Luna has a tiny butt. Now, I get the feeling Rainbow Dash would be like a stick with no curves. All right, now now to me, and and this is something that I don't know that I share with anyone, but in my head canon, there are about four characters that play as female that are actually male in my head canon. Oh, dear. And I just I don't know why, but when I see them, I can tell I can tell that's not a girl. That's a guy. I swear to God, if you say Applejack, we're gonna have a problem. No, oh. Applejack is female all the way. The Thank four males that Applejack. I can. <laughs> Applejack. <laughs> Applejack. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese booty Applejack. No, Applejack's wow. pretty, 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 pretty. But Rainbow Dash is a boy. I can tell. There's no doubt about it. What? Scootaloo is a boy. There's no doubt about that. Derpy's a boy. And Vinyl Scratch is a boy. And no. they, play, they play girls on the show. Yes, I know. They, they but they're they they have gender identity issues. So that's you know I, I don't I don't hold it against them. Are you I saying know. that they're fabulous oh or they're God. on the uh, the Tumblr spectrum? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is like some <laughs> advanced autism right here. No offense. Okay, I'm going to let you a little secret there, DWK. If the beginning oh, yeah. of your sentence has to start with no offense, it's probably going to offend people. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I apologize. I don't think it's okay. No, no I don't care. Just stand by your point of view, bro. Just go full out. It's head cam. I mean, it's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, just go balls deep in the hole, dude. Well, you have to do something. There just aren't any. There aren't any significant males in the whole thing, so you have to make some. You gotta, you gotta come up with the idea. My favorite opponent is Vinyl Scratch all the way because dubstep music and EDM is my life because that's the only thing I can dance to. I like, I like Vinyl Scratch. Yeah, he but... is a very good opponent. Truth. Stop it. <laughs> I, my, whole, my whole gateway into the show was my ex-girlfriend was like obsessed with it and i was like yeah i don't know i don't think that'd be something i'm into and then a youtuber i watched like religiously at the time was a brony and i'm like you know what i'll, I'll give it a chance so i watched the first two episodes and then it ended up being two in the morning and i had been halfway through the first season and i'm like oh my god i just sat here wasting all this time watching this what the fuck is wrong with me was your girlfriend one of those types of Watched all the previous generations to No, no. But she uh, she drew some damn good fan art of Little Miss Rarity. Mm, oh my. But yeah, I can see That's that. an oxymoron, but okay. You know, they're all hot in their own little way. Except for Pinky. I can't think of her as hot. She's just too strange. No, wait a minute. I was just on DA. I could fix that for you real quick. Pinky's fantastic. Pinky's great. I like her. She's a wonderful personality and everything, but I just don't... I can't I can't summon up any sexual feelings for her. Hey, one second. One second. I'll fix this. She's oh, she got, terrible. This <laughs> cover. Uh, I was just, just looking at this. No, no, no. <laughs> I've got you covered, son. Pinkie Pie well, apparently when you're looking at Brawny's picture over there, not so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Brawny's picture is here. Yeah, you know what? You know what your cutie mark is, Brawny? It's a dildo with an X through it. You're a boner block over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, 
My picture is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking how we got into this shit. I actually was a fan of the uh, old My Little Pony um, back when I was a kid. I don't remember what channel it was, but yeah, in the early 90s, there was some channel on cable that would just rerun it like every, you know, Saturday morning. And Ilya Leonov holds his fingers up like a cross. Oh, come on. It was, it's, it's not that bad of a show. And like, if you're a kid, it's friggin' fantastic. I guess I was were you high when kids. you were watching it back then? Dude, I was like seven. <laughs> yeah, he was high. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't answer the question. I know, dude. Like, hey, I'm, I'm not retracting <laughs> the question. It's like a stoned seven year old. Listen, man. I didn't start smoking pot till I was eight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> then you saw it stoned, pot. right? But, I just uh, imagine him being like Chris from Family Guy. Hey, man, I don't feel so good. <laughs> this was a bad idea, yo. <laughs> no, it's never a bad idea. I have to but... go to work in the morning, but I don't want to leave the call. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you have a job. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck sleep. I'm staying up. I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just go to work fucked up. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I mean, doing I, right. am, I am. I am. My last day is like the ninth. I can just not go to work if I don't want to. <laughs> what are they going to do? Fire me three days before I'm supposed to go? Why are you leaving the job? Because I'm going to a new job. Oh, lovely. Shiny new digs. Yeah. The lovely office across the hall. So I'm thinking if, uh, I'm thinking pink, Pinky is probably, probably smells like cake or some cotton candy or some kind of crap. I think if you, Kelly. if you washed cotton her, candy. washed her in something that smelled kind of sexy, then it might work better. Jesus. I'm trying to figure this out. See, you remember, okay. Peter, what I said earlier about, like, I think he just sounds intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong. You were wrong. <laughs> well, there's your first mistake. See, I, I think Pinky's like personality in the bedroom would just be exactly the same as uh, you know she is to everyone else. She'd be like, "Oh, you want to have sex? Okay," and she just like slam herself on your dick for like. Oh, five so, you, minutes so she's and be like, she, "Bye." So she's like banned from Equestria Daily, Pinky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I, I would never. I like, watched that and I'm like, yep, no, that's Pinky. That's totally Pinky. <laughs> yeah, that's how she'd do it. So Pinky would be a ball buster. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't fuck people who are crazier than I am, and that is definitely hey, dude, like. You need to change that. <laughs> taking like that's like taking my insanity and like cranking it up to eleven. I can't do that. No, dude, you don't that's fuck like people perfect. crazier than you are. So. No that's women. Perfect what you're sub fantasy. Do that. Let me tell you with my display picture as it is what I would do to Pinky. Oh God! Oh, no. If you start, yeah. Ronnie, I will kick you from this call. So I'm. Uh, I think we're da- we're da- dangerously close to uh, jellyfish territory. Yes, yes, we are. You know, I, I just do- realized what I, what, when you guys were talking and I was listening to freaking Vlad. I was like, I don't have the heart to say that about Vlad, but I could say that about Sketchy. I know what he is. He is the Black Don Knotts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who Don Knotts is. So many oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that guy. The guy from Andy Griffin show, you know. I don't I don't know if I should take that as an insult or not. If I yep. said it about Probably you, I mean so. I only If you said it, it about, about me, I might point. you know, I kinda I kinda liked his character in the Andy Griffin show. Oh yeah, show. No, don't get me wrong, Don Knotts was funny, but you don't want to be compared to him. <laughs> yeah. That's be that's like when you when you uh, when you compared Boingo to fucking uh, Andy Dick, you should have seen his face after that. He was in a sour mood for like three hours. Mm. I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy. That guy uh, was a Black character. The Black Dick Van Dyke. I have no idea what the fuck you guys are talking about right now. It's okay, they're old. I, I watched the Dick Van Dyke hey, show. Hey, if, if we were talking about I fucking, I don't know, the, if we were talking movie. about the Grateful Dead over there, you know, Johnny Good Times there would know what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I know what they're talking about. I'm, 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 I'm making a stoner joke, Kichi. That's why you wouldn't get it. Yes. Mm. Oh. Kichi, you should be stoned sometime. Yeah. That would be I don't fun. think I should. No, thank you. You should. should. That would be fun. No, you no I'm good. Get crossfaded with me, Kiji. Yeah, don't, no, don't do I'm drugs good. if you don't need to. I can to. see that being like freaking, what do you call it? Uh, freaking, like Friday. The, the Aeon version. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Please, no. If I get 20,000 signatures, will it happen? Yes. 
Time to start. We're making this a petition on change.org. Knowing ponies and their propensity to be anthropomorphic, there is more than likely some sort of way to get high misusing magic, I would imagine. I'm trying to think of which pony that. would most likely be the stoner. Oh, yeah, obviously the hippie. Who would be yeah. the stoner? I've the seen hippie. The episode um, tree episode. hugger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tree hugger. Uh, she's already figured it out. Dude. And then uh, Zakora probably does the same thing. I imagine they're I mean, different kinds of drugs. You know, yeah. she's doing some, she's sniffing some kind of zombie freaking puffer fish extract bullshit. But there's got to be something you can do with just I magic, can... you know? Well, that is, I her magic is potions, Zakora. though. Maybe you could just, like, tie a rope around your horn real tight there and then strain real hard. Pony erratic asphyxia. Suddenly let it go. <laughs> Pony asphyxia? What? Pony asphyxiation. You've never done that, Dulcet? <laughs> No. Are you, you, see, you know what that, that means? That means life. I can. That means I can make a video about that, and Dulcet won't be able to debunk it. Oh yeah, you can't stop me. <laughs> I can that is my see life. Zikora. I can see Zakora smoking like sativa or when something. You, when you're going really to sleep good. and your head yeah. is nuzzling that pillow, Kichi, you're gonna hear it in the back of your head: pony erotic mm. asphyxiation. As your eyes close, you will wake up and go, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> Give a whole new meaning to the word horny. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. See, it man. sounds so much worse coming from him. <laughs> yes. Every, everything sounds loose when you say it. Everything so, sounds yeah. better and worse at the same time coming from him. It's hateful ain't all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought Silver Pool was mad, but I got oh, Jesus. I told you I'd taken my hypnotics. Ilya, you are like the best person. I am so grateful I brought <laughs> into you. Can I add you into my contacts person I don't know very well? And Sure, go ahead. She's pretty nuts. Yay! Like one <laughs> Just tell me how you're, like, who you're going to Care show up as. Because I think Fairly. sometimes... Okay. No, sorry. sorry. I was like, careful, if you have a beer, she'll try to rub it. Mm, I have a beer. <laughs> He's down! He's down. He's if he does have a beard now. He does. It. He's down with the clown. <laughs> okay, Ilya, I appear as Aeon. Probably, says I'm, um, probably says I'm Sigurd. I've got a sort of an Ernest Hemingway thing going on right now. Just accept all of them. Oh, God. I'm the Sapphire Heart Song person. This is cool, so. You know, I just realized, I think this is the first time I've ever been on a call with you guys where I haven't been drunk. Well, it's because Vita's not here. How does it feel? Well, start drinking. <laughs> How does it feel, D? Uh, it's, you know, gay. Oh, fuck you, <laughs> But uh, I'm trying to be sober for a, for a week or so. You're on probation, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> this time. This time. Not this time. Yeah. The, uh, not this time, India Jones. The uh, alcohol thing was getting a little... Um, a little too much, so... Next time, gadget. Although, <laughs> my definition of sobriety reference. has nothing to do with pot, so... Okay, uh, Ah, there's the loophole. Yes, that is the loophole. The best way to be sober is to just be high all the time. Sure, that's how it works. Right, yes, yeah. Keiji, he's still single. Yeah. Oh, be still, my no baby. No, I know, right? You can, go, you can change him, Kichi. He's a little bit of a fixer upper. I'm getting the vapors God. just thinking about I it. Know. Good golly. I'm day away. Oh, oh gosh. Kichi, why? She, she, she likes to dress up as Rarity DWK. Yeah, she's a no, little I bit don't. of a fixer upper, too. <laughs> Fuck oh, you. <laughs> um, Kichi's more of a sassy saddles. Oh, God. Kichi's more of a silver spoon. A uh, what? Silver spoon. He called you silver spoon. Yeah, it's just a, it's an insult that doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. I'm Brownie Buck. There you go. There's your pinky. Oh yeah, uh, I I failed at luring Josh. Sorry, uh, told you. Okay, hey, let's let's see if this. Oh my god. Mm, Hi Quill. Hi Quill. Hey. Hi Quill. Echo. Anthony, what have you done to me? I don't know. Get your hand out of your pants. I don't have my hand in my pants, and that's secret. the first thing I say when- I do not I believe that for a second, Vlad. Hey, Vlad. Yeah, I was about to say that's the first thing I say when she enters the room. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you said my name, FNGR. I uh, assume I'm in- No, no, I'm sorry. I'm I think- Ilya, what's up, man? Hello. He's been here for like about an hour now. 
<laughs> yeah. I, know. I just I was I was in a call with uh, Brie Lizzie T. We were talking, and she's filling out a college application stuff. Oh, tell her that she should mm. come by more often. We don't see her. Hey, hey, Anthony. She left because there's too much drama in here, and she didn't want to surround herself with that at the moment. Oh. Uh, yeah, you know, she huh? she's like overly stressed out. But yeah, I made a thing. Was he? I didn't even know she left. Is she still in the the fucking rift? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. That's yeah. Fine. But yeah, I made a thing. It's for this oh, thing I'm planning on doing. You pushed a pinky picture. I didn't see it. It's in, it's uh, in, it's in the, the chat. chat. Yeah. Uh, get my mouse to oh work. yeah, Anthony Vita's trying to get your attention. What does he want? He says to check oh, your PM. Oh my god. Hi, Ayan. Okay, well that's not Hello. pinky though. I'm not just. Hi, Ayan. I said <laughs> for take some a look time at it. I was bringing him back. <laughs> go for a bit. I'll see you. See you. How, how, does, yeah. how does she even stand up? Rachel! <laughs> I'm horrible. Well, at the risk of looking like a cringy douche, I sent Illy a contact request, so, uh, hey. How dare you send him it, a request? It does oh, well, let me look see like... if I can find these. Oh, okay, let's see that one. Okay. Let me push the it does guy. look like her, oh, like shit. she's twisted around and her spine is broken in a way that it shouldn't okay. be. Well, no wonder her spine is broken. Look at those tits. What? I mean, uh, how do you stand up with those? What, the proportions are oh, weird. I think it's cute. I mean, it's cute. I'm just saying, it, like, I don't know who's doing this, but I'm watching them. It's she's oh, going to develop oh, we, scoliosis. We lost Morgan Freepone. No, <laughs> it's because you didn't post Luna. <laughs> he bailed, oh, dude. There we are. I'm back again. Oh, I did, oh, right. You know what? You know what? Died. You know what? I, two died. I, I pushed the wrong button there. Welcome back, it's Deep Voice Man. Well, it's it's all right because Tune left, so it's all good. <laughs> back no, it's not all good. You're still here. Oh! oh no. No. <laughs> slap nice. the fuck down! Oh! <laughs> Sam, <laughs> slap. You know, you guys are gonna miss me when I'm gone. If yeah, any of you have sent contact requests, just tell me who you are. Sorry, well, we you yeah, just when you send them a request, just put in the thing. Hey, this is so and so. Yeah, because I don't know who these are. I get them all the time from people that they want to do uh, some sort so of re- dance. Or resend something. your request and be like, hey, this is such and such. I got him in my contact, so I'm good. Yeah, I saw the Vlad. That made sense because that's when I'm you looked s- on the screen. But the other people, oh, Sapphire. Okay, I see Sapphire's here. <laughs> there we go. Right, who is who is who is Aeon of Dreams? Aeon of Dreams. That's Aeon. He just lost. Yeah. So have you been Mr. Leonoff? Hell, have I been? Mr. Leonoff. Well, I've, I've, I've got to be polite. See, no, no. Now I'm waiting for him to say, Mr. Leonoff was my father. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we can nip this in the butt. Sapphire, you were one of the people that had a problem with Dulce. Do you care right now? Wait, what? <laughs> what? You were one of the people that had a problem with Dulce originally being here. Uh, do you have a problem with him right now? So I could tell Vita to shut the fuck up already. Yeah, not really. Okay. <sighs> not really. If anything, I was the one trying to help Dulcet not to be an asshole. Isn't that right, Dulcet? Completely. Okay, <laughs> that's solid. And Skype starts. Oh, there we go. Oh, skip. Oops. Sapphire. Why? Was on that list. Yeah, and adorable. said, it's cool. Oh, Dulce, Dulce, it's cool in my book. <laughs> <laughs> just hear you say that out loud. It's just weird. <laughs> Also likes code Geos. Anthony, That's your cool girlfriend scares me. me sometimes. Probably. <laughs> it would appear that my display image is still Pinkie Pie. I, I thought I had changed it. Um, it, it looks like you're wearing a crown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Celebrating your analysis daily went a little too early, don't you think? That it's picture, still Pinkie it, Pie for it, me. It's like the Burger King. By the way, <laughs> Kitchy V throws me out, throw him out. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so you. it's still picky for some for some people. That's interesting. I gotta figure out how that works. Hey, hey, DWK. Yep. Vita is all like heartbroken and stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Dude, I'm never on. I'm never on Skype anymore. And like. Okay, no, no. Oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sad violin. Be like, I'm sorry, Vita. It's not you. It's me. I I told them that I was like, dude, I'm never on Skype. I'm using Discord now. You're gonna be the They're second Digi Bro that ditches him. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, here we go. Here See, we go. Now, 
Um, now I feel this... now I feel terrible. Thank you very much. Hey, Ilya. Your teeth is going to start yeah. rotting out there. Dude. I found okay. a thing for you. Then you're going to become a full thing. Leader. What sort of thing? There you go. Have a thing. Yeah, Ilya, if you're interested, I have a giant collection of Luna porn. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was, I wasn't looking, but I'll, I'll take it if you're offering. No hesitation, just give me that shit. <laughs> I'd like to remind everybody I'm recording this call, and that's not coming out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, every, everybody worried? knows I'm a fucking pervert. Well, yeah, no, everybody would assume. Oh, this is too horrible to pass up. After that oh, thumbnail oh, I got oh, you done, DWK, there's no way they know who you are. <laughs> I think oh, everyone would that. that. Which That's thumbnail? Too pass up. You know, not everything is about your chest or the lack thereof. <laughs> Hey, hey, I am trying to repress that memory, and you will allow me to do so, sir. Okay. Well, you know what? There is there is a new picture on the way coming from Gray, so there'll be a brand new memory. Uh, that does not fill me with confidence. Well, it should. It's a very good one. Maybe. I've actually got a lot more pictures of Chrissy. Than it should have been out today, but Gray's Gray, so... My pony folder got so gigantic at one point that I actually had to move the entire thing to an external hard drive. That just oh. sounds like so much innuendo waiting to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I, was, I wasn't trying to be disgusting <laughs> for once, and you had to... It gave me a brand new hard drive. <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't... That right there can touch me. I don't know, external hard drive? What, what does that... Uh... No, like your your folder got so gigantic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not funny when you have to explain it. Oh, Dulcet, <laughs> is it true that she's still hemorrhaging subs? Um, let me check. I was like, that was an Anthony C. video. These Philistines have no taste. Philistines. Anthony. I love how... You, Anthony, I love how you use Philistines as an insult that's great. <laughs> Pe well, he certainly can't use peasants every time. Get off my dick, Vlad. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I was trying to compliment you! Let's see oh, here. The one time I try not to be a kiss-ass. Well, that was a fail. I was trying to be genuinely nice. I was trying to reciprocate the, the compliment you gave me earlier. So, she's been hemorrhaging subs for about a week. And um, with this latest video, she's lost... <sighs> 140. Who's the she? Kate. I love Compostable a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I assumed that's what it was. Oh, she's she's doing stuff again? Well, she released a, a, a sort of a, a non-apology apology video. It was a, mm -hmm. a re really an odd bit of journalism. And the only thing I could think of was, I hate that lipstick. That's terrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I didn't like it, though. <sighs> yeah, she always wears that and her lip tends to like that a lot. Shit post, shit post, shit post, shit post, shit post. Shit post. <laughs> you having fun there, secret? Well, that's that's how it looks. It's like shit post, shit post, shit post. <laughs> <laughs> or like procrastination. I don't really think she's terribly bothered about anything. Yeah, I mean, she's got, what, a hundred and uh, something thousand subs? 128k. Jesus it takes a lot to make bronies unsub you. Like, look at Theory Brony. He still has, what, 10,000 subs? And he's quit, like, two years ago. Oh, that's adorable! Secret, your vibrator's going off. <laughs> that was not me. Thank you very much. Beat me to it. I was about to it's say, a, it's a pretty loud one, so I just assumed it was secret. It's on a timer, and just about every time she starts to I doze off. You, Anthony. <laughs> you, could, you could hear Secret Jamer's vibrator from across town. I'm gonna smack him. No. DWK. Yeah. You almost screwed me over yet again with one of your I videos. What, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Well, the first, I, I told you about the uh, uh, gauntlet of fire almost causing me to get in a, in a car crash. No. Um, <laughs> That's right. The, uh. But then recently, I'm, I'm watching uh, To Wear and Back Again Part 2. Yes. And, and we get to the end with Chrysalis, and that happened. Okay, <laughs> 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 he thought I was like he's screaming in pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I enjoyed Yo, the rap. Yeah. Oh, you, thank yeah, you. man. Thank you, man. When can we expect uh, Discord's newest mixtape? Uh, <laughs> oh God. You know, well, he's uh, 
he's doing the whole thing like indie, so it might take a while. But uh, I told him he should get like a manager and shit, but it's not down. No, actually, there's another rap. I'm, I'm working on the uh, first Equestria Girls video now, and there's another rap in that one, so, you know. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, Snips and snails. And puppy doctor. No. <laughs> it's Ooh, watching Twilight. I am. Um, you'll see. You'll see. I look forward to this. You've piqued my interest. Yeah. I, well, I would be working on it now, but, you know, Keiichi just made me come here, so. <laughs> Again, you, you did not resist. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Probably be in fact, I said you only had to come in here for like five minutes, and then you yeah, stayed for I, like two hours. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you said five minutes. You knew what would happen. I, I didn't know. You knew exactly what would happen. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Kichi, he's trying to put the move on you. <laughs> Limbo, is, Anthony. Limbo is the drug. Kichi is the dealer. I, I oh, should go stand because, um, yeah, I've got uh, important pony videos to make, you know. Bye. Pony, pony business. Bye. Don't forget to give your girlfriend a kiss before you go. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Rarity's here, is she? Okay. <laughs> she is darling. <laughs> Ant- Ant- Anthony's no, mom isn't here me. either. Not oh, me. oh damn! Okay, you know, you know, she's just like my side girl. I wouldn't call it girlfriend. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie, stop me. Mean. <laughs> But uh, I'll yeah, after you're gone because the smell of cheap weed and applesauce will flush the room. I should take off, but uh, it was fun talking to you guys again, and um, so, very nice to meet you, Ilya. Thank you, um, you too. I will get that uh, Luna porn to you as soon as I uploaded all the Google Drive. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Which might take a while because there's a lot of it. I can't tell <laughs> if he's fucking around or not. <laughs> seriously, I get all night. Anyway, adios, guys. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Night. Night. Asshole. Oh, this place is a drug. It's pronounced <laughs> Rachel, Kichi. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. Oh, Vita. I didn't think tonight would have an eventful call. Uh, yeah, that I thought today wrong. was going to just be boring all the way through. It's going to be a completely like, dull I day. I was wrong. I've been deceived. We've been deceived by the thing known as Monday. Even despite the fact that I am here. Oh, it's Tuesday. Yeah, really, especially since you're here. It's Tuesday. Yes, Bronny, Bronny, Ilya's cool balances out your fool. Oh my god. KG, shame on you. Uh, KG, I'm the original and greatest brown horse, and there is nothing you can ever do about it, and it just... KG is best brown horse. Thank you, Secret. Uh, I I agree. Thank you, Quill. That's that's two in favor of the KG. Mm-hmm. And a resounding zero in favor of the brawny. <laughs> Brawny's going to have to make a very strong comeback if he wants to make it in this race. Well, about 5,000 people and 200 voters disagree with I you. was waiting for it. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I was like, I wonder I was how long it'll take. You. I was waiting, I was waiting for it, too. Sorry. I'm sorry, Brawny, but I couldn't hear you over your ego. <laughs> Brawny, those are called pity votes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you figure that, Kichi? Because all of them were like, oh, Keechee's getting all these people to help her. I'm going to vote for Bronny. That's pity. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's you using all of your best weapons and still not being able to stack up to me. Again, <laughs> pity. Wait, wait Bronny, did you just say you have a bigger breast than Keechee? <laughs> <laughs> so it we, can, we can get that into a picture. <laughs> I want to see you draw that. Done. <laughs> you got that hap. I tell you to do your narrating. You oh my god, you're drawing it right now. Game. Where's my pencil? Kichi, I can't hear. I can't hear a word you're saying. No. Kichi, she's drawing Bronny with boobs. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Kichi. Jesus. Uh, this is gonna be great. Right. <laughs> Limbo's on a fun day. Brody bust, oh my god. Make sure they are make sure they're smaller than Kichi's though. We don't want they a nettled we don't want a nettled queen. They know what's up. They know what's up. But yeah, Brody, literally <laughs> all those comments were like, Oh, Kichi's gonna beat up Brawny because he's getting all these people behind her. We gotta vote for Brawny. Literally nobody said that. I can go find some quotes. <laughs> yeah, they're all sure, from yeah. Eric, right? <laughs> Do it, Kichi. Go all find them. Hold on, hold on, let me go find some. 
since you need to, since since you have this fetish for being proven wrong. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and spend thirty minutes digging for the one or two that might have said something that can vaguely be interpreted as that. Oh, now you agree that there might be something now that I'm actually going to look. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and just ignore the entire back half of what I said as you normally do. Delphin. Ah. Uh, Backpedaling. Yes. You, you two Take are both pretty and I don't care. Yeah, I just saw it. You know, oh, wait, right? I'm recording this. I've got How Not to Brody material. Beautiful. <laughs> you know what, Brian? For once, I'm just going to continue eating my cereal because it's not worth it. I love you, Quill. Yeah. I love you, Quill. What, what did I do with my cereal? Okay, Brian, do you want me to go look or don't you? You do whatever you want to do. This is like okay. Watching. Then I'm gonna continue eating more cereal. This is like this is like I'm hearing sorry, that duel between that one guy and Hamilton. Hey, if you're challenging me to a duel, <laughs> I accept. It. If you're not, then uh, I don't want to.